you remember from last time. For the next couple of days, this is going to be our home and we're gonna be bringing it with us everywhere we go. We parked the van with an amazing view and later we're surprised how safe we felt parked overnight at Cracker Barrel. But today we're trying out van life at a Florida state park. So since we're staying at a Cracker Barrel, we thought we would at least go check out the gift shop, see if there's any kind of treats or anything that we could buy just to support them for being so kind to us. <laughs> Coffee! Oops. I think we blew the breaker. I know, that happens. I think we're just drawing too much power from our hot water right there. Oh, that might be one right there. Back in action. But we're running the car just in case. Yeah, just to give it just enough extra juice to give us some hot water. Wow. You know, I wouldn't mind some of those. That sounds in good. your coffee? Yeah. <laughs> You're crazy. One, two, three. Good morning. Finally. Now we have cars starting to park around us. Oops. What? I opened the side and there's a guy standing there. Right there. And then he like, he looked up like, oh. <laughs> I think it's gonna be time to go. I think I'll leave that one up. Okay, lesson learned. I think we need to just stay all enclosed until we're ready to go and then we just boom we're out of here it's time to get to the state park right after breakfast in order to get to this park it's actually a really pretty drive the loop in ormond it has tomoka state park on it a lot of people go uh riding like bicycles and running this loop all the trees kind of form a canopy it's a beautiful area Tomoka. Tomoka State Park. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so it looks like our um, space is still occupied and it's about 10 in the morning right now. He said you can go ahead and enjoy the park. It's actually, it looks like a very large park. Do you see what I see? Oh my gosh. Boiled peanuts. Boiled peanuts, I'm so excited. I heard there's some boiled peanuts in there. The Tomoka Outpost has kayak rentals, outdoor spaces to hang out, firewood for sale, cute decor with a waterfront view, plus a general store with yummy goodies inside. That was a bust. We found the, the boiled peanuts, but they weren't ready yet. And we're gonna go find something to do first, like a hike. We gotta work up an appetite for lunch. There is a hike right across the street from Tomoka State Park, right at the entrance. Oh, no, you don't. You're coming with us. Beautiful day for van lifing. Oh, yeah. If we were in a tent right now, yeah. we would not be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> We'd probably be grumbly, a little bit wet. <laughs> but now it's actually really just great. Yeah. <laughs> This bridge covers the Oswald Ditch. This may have been dug by hand. They wanted to keep the caterpillars out of the plantation area and the crops. Quite a story for this little bridge. I know, dug by hand in 1776. Oh yeah. That's a long time ago. That's and it's like, still here. Yeah. It's still here after that long? That's crazy. I think we just completed the trail. That was only like a mile. The Woodham Woods Trail. Woodham? Woodham? And it's an out and back and takes you right back to the road we were on when we drove in to Tomoka State Park. <sighs> Time to make some lunch. Look, oh. it's a happy face. <laughs> <laughs> Some boiled peanuts and we got our firewood for tonight. This is a southern favorite. 
very popular in Florida gas stations. Boiled peanuts might sound strange, but once you boil them, they're a soft and savory treat, unlike roasted peanuts. We're at Cracker Barrel, we got this unique soda. We got birch beer. It's not actually beer. It's made from the tree. It's like a birch tree made into a soda. Got my trusty Swiss Army knife. Oh, wow. That is a really unique flavor. Vanilla undertones, a little bit of pine, but I guess I can only describe it as the birch taste. If you find birch beer, definitely try it. Here comes the rain. Figured I'd open the fan and get a little bit of airflow. We're mid lunch and the rain started coming. Such a wall of rain over the water. It was just sunny, it was blue sky. It's a good thing we went on our hike already. Yeah, good idea. Relaxing to the max. This is the best. This by itself is like the cherry on top. I think there's a lot more to come with adventures in a van like this. So we have a slight detour. When we were at Publix, we forgot one thing. Refried beans. Yeah. Because we're making nachos. Nacho night! Nachos! Man. That's gotta be the quickest Publix run ever. the whole day here and we haven't even checked in yet <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that the people have left our spot now uh, Brian, we check it in? yep Looking for site 66 That's here we are Whoa. we're home oh it's beautiful all right I better back in we made it to our campsite, and it is beautiful. It's starting to get a little chilly with the sun down. We don't have to set up a tent. <laughs> We're just taking a couple of photos, and our neighbors right next to us are walking their cats. It's so cool. It is so beautiful here. I had no idea Tomoka State Park was such a great place to camp. Really, it's so wooded and each of the spots are like really deep in the woods. But we just met our neighbors and they are the cutest. Oh, oh my, gosh. my gosh, I wish I we were staying here longer to really get to know them. So um, we have Matt and Rebecca. If you guys are watching this later, it was great to meet you guys. It looks new, that's good. Sheesh. Trying not to bring in this dirt today. And also, guys, look at this. There's a Ram ProMaster. I think that maybe somebody is um, selling and buying and they're checking it out right across from us. But I'm thinking that we're gonna go with the Ford. I really like this Ford. We'll show you a full tour tomorrow when we check out of this campsite. Ooh. I could totally just crawl up into this bed and get comfortable. <laughs> all right, just put together all of our firewood. Let's see if I can get this in one go. How are you doing? Hey, we need new batteries. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> I see the fire going. Yeah. Uh, I got our drinks. I found the marshmallows. Thank you. And I was thinking, what about the red stripe for you? Oh, it sounds good. You know why? Why? Tell them the story. So when we rented this van, we opened the fridge and there were two red stripe beers in here. It was so nice to provide these. Is it going to be like those hotel ones where <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? we're going to use it and get charged 10 bucks? 20 bucks. See you soon. Cook 
courtesy of Chad and April. Thank you guys very much. Cheers. I think we've arrived. I don't know. I think I arrived the second we picked up the van. Yeah, I know, same here. I need to find marshmallow sticks. Um, ooh, it's really wet around here. Paul found a stick. First one of the night. Oops. I like them burnt. <laughs> that one looks like you'd like that one. Mm. It's just like perfectly roasted, right? Yeah. It's ooey gooey. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. No! <gasps> What'd you do? <laughs> but it's too sad to say. Uh. We have more. But that was so sad. I think that's a foul. I know. I'm yeah, sorry. I think you need to go in timeout. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sold already on getting a van. I am now. I mean, the moon, the fire, it's beautiful. I love this lifestyle. Is it time to make it our lifestyle? I think it is. For adventures to come. Though it's hard to part ways, I'll keep you here with me. Do you know what time it is? Let's say it's nacho time! Nacho time! Nacho time! <laughs> and the best part is we get to come home <laughs> and warm up indoors and feel oh, so cozy. Man. I can't believe it, we are so spoiled. Last night in the van. Oh. Hmm. Are you sure we should return it? Maybe we should just keep it. I want to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna miss this van too. But I think we have a solid plan to yeah. get a van. Yeah. For sure. Since we're cooking with propane inside of a closed vehicle. We definitely want to open the side windows and get the fan going for ventilation. Definitely don't want any kind of propane poisoning or anything like that. Now this fan, you can run it to where it sucks air out just to make sure none of the gases stay right there. They're going bye-bye. Ready? Yes, I am. You can tell them about it tomorrow. All right. <laughs> there we go. Finally sizzling. I don't know what else to do. I'm reheating the refried beans in the pan. It's like making taffy. You just keep like folding it on itself. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm on chip duty. So a whole can of refried beans and we're in a small van. I did actually bring the Beano. Score. Yeah. This is homemade cheese sauce made from cashews and a corn squash, right? Whoa. Oh my gosh, we have loved every minute of this van and this adventure. I know, I think we're really going to miss this life. I'm ready to go now. Yeah, I know, <laughs> me too. As promised, we also have a video van tour to show you all the features of it. So click on the video right up there. And we'll put it down below in the description. So thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you on the next one.